fuck going on, man? You know what I'm saying? We in the fucking building. This way. What's up, Revolt? So I'm at I'm at WAP show. WAP tell me, yo, come through. Um, and I was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's my brother, so I go show love to his show. We in Jersey, we in um not Patterson, we in Montclair or some shit like that. Shout out Montclair, I fuck with y'all niggas. So I went to go jump, but I'm so hype on stage, I'm not looking at the crowd, you know what I'm saying? Everyone's telling me that I jumped in a group of ten girls. Like ten, like it was just like some frail ass girls, you know what I'm saying? And they was there, and I jump, and mid air, I see me like, like, cause every time I jump, right? Every time I jump, when I jump, I hit a spin, so I don't hit nobody with my knees. So mid air, I'm looking, but I hit, I'm, I'm already like hitting like 180 to like land on my back, so they won't get a knee or like an elbow, you know what I'm saying? I just let myself like a trust fall, but like a high trust fall. So I went, <laughs> and all the girls just mid air. I see them just move. I just let God take it from there. <laughs> The Red Sea, my man academics. <laughs> Nigga said this this shit spread like the Red Sea. Nothing, I just saw God and God said just, you know, prepare for impact. Boom. I hit the floor. I hit hard, bro. Like my lower back was done. Like, you know what I'm saying? I thought I was gonna be paralyzed. You know what I'm saying? They jumped on top of me, started hugging me, pinching me on the floor, doing mad weird shit. Like <laughs> But it's whatever, man. Yeah, I went right back on stage and grabbed the mic and did it again. They moved twice. They moved twice, right? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm lying. They ain't moved the second time. They didn't move the second time. They caught me. It was the day, the next day, I was at Marshmallow show. It's just, I'm always, every time I get dropped is when I'm at somebody else's show. It's not my show. So I jumped at Marshmallow show, and these people on acid, you know, they on, you know Marshmallow, he's yeah. one of the biggest DJs in the world. And um, I hit the pavement again. But I took a girl with me, though. Like, I landed on her. You know what it is? Nah, it, this is what it is. I feel like the fans thought it was funny, because I be trolling the fuck out of people. So they just like, yo, they found that it was funny, and it was like, yo, let's keep doing it to him. You know what I'm saying? Because he be trolling them. I don't give a fuck. I'll tell you this. Like, I tell, um, you know, I, I, it's a story that, you know, some people know. I say it all the time, though. I've been popping, like, I've been popping. Nobody got to tell me I'm popping, like, you know what I'm saying? I know I was popping. It's just I was popping in the in, in different places, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was never popping in New York the way I'm popping now. Or I was never popping in the States, America, as a whole, the way I am now. I was always selling out shows in Germany, Slovakia, Czech Republic, Russia, you name it, you know what I'm saying? But I made that core music where I got to build a, a, a cult, you know what I'm saying? A following that is just like, I don't give a fuck what 6 9 do, you know what I'm saying? He could rob an old lady, not saying that I condone that, but he could rob an old lady, I'm backing him. He could come out with a country song and I'm backing it, you know what I'm saying? It's just I can't, I, 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 stuck, I stuck loyal to my, to my, to my fans and, and, and just shared conversations with them every day. I can't do that no more because it's just overwhelming all the work I got on my shoulders and all that shit. My first show was in Czech Republic in Prague. Sold out. Uh, 1200 cap. Yeah. It wasn't fun. You know what's crazy? I never had a manager to this year. Never had a manager to this year. And, um... <laughs> They called my phone, and, and I remember this, right? It was so funny. The dude called me. He's like, yo, um, yeah, so we trying to book you. And I'm thinking, he's like, how much, you, how much you get paid for a show? But I never did a show ever. I'm just lying. I'm straight lying. I'm like, yeah, like, they give me, like, 2000 a show. But you know what I'm saying? But if you can meet me at 1500 that'd be good. But he's looking at me like, he on the phone like, I now I know, because now I know, like, but he's looking at me like, this nigga's fucking retarded, though. Only 1500 All right. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm thinking it like, yo, he's going to be like, nah, I can't do that. I'm like, nah, I can't go no lower. He's like, all right, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? He's like, what you need for the green room? I said, I don't need nothing. But in my head, I'm like, what the fuck is a green room? Like, you know what I'm saying? 
He's like, I'm like, I don't need nothing. He's like, you sure? No towels? I'm like, what the fuck I need towels for? Like, you know what I'm saying? He's like, I like, you yeah, we just wanna make sure you straight. Uh uh. Um, how many people flying? I'm gonna just like me and my man's, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like going like it. Yeah, I'm like, yo, this is my first show, they paying me bread, like uh uh. Anyway, that happened. That was the most beautiful experience I ever done in my life. It was me and my man Andrew, we went out there Dolly, my man Tripe Drew. We went out there Dolly and um it was amazing, like, you know what I'm saying? I fell in love with Czech Republic. I fell in love with Slovakia. Slovakia is my favorite place in the world. If you hear my music before, I, like, y'all yeah, knew who 6 9 was, because everybody looking at it like, yo, 6 9 came out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? They looking at it like, yo, 6 9 came out of nowhere. But I didn't come out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? I just was popping in places that was digging me. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody went ahead of, like, my, my homie over there, like, I ain't gonna say no names, but they say I just yell in the mic, you know what I'm saying? I don't make real music. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, those people like that shit. They like that shit. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So, that shit was just jinking. And they fucked with me. So, I was just like, yo, I need to be able to mix that sound with where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? And the first single I put out just was a hit. It was a smash. Instant hit. It didn't take long to be a hit, neither. It was just a hit. When I jump in the crowd, I so with the ticket sales, right? I don't know how much they they be, you know what I'm saying? But I know that if if I'm a fan, right, and I'm paying for a ticket, I don't want to see no nigga fucking walking on stage, trying to think they cool, acting like a swag rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit to me is whack. Like they paid 150, they paid 20. I'm gonna, fuck. If they paid five dollars for your ticket, right? They deserve a show. You know what I'm saying? I try to get as involved as I can with the people. You know what I'm saying? And trying to get them. Nobody gonna stand there and look at me like you don't come to a show to look cool. Like who you looking cool for? You know what I'm saying? Turn the fuck up, man. I don't give a fuck if, if it's bad or negative. 60, 40, 60 positive, 40 negative, 100 negative, zero positive. If you talking about it, it's relevant to you and it's 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 in your topic of discussion. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck how much you don't like Takashi Six Nine. I don't give a fuck how much you hate Six Nine. You talking about it? It's in your system. It's there. You know what I'm saying?